have uh, one of the veterans with no criminal record, honorably discharged with no mental records, uh, who was kidnapped by the government, kept in a facility for two days while his guns were taken, and charged for being put in the hospital out of the clear blue sky. This is happening to veterans all over the United States, and they're getting these wellness check orders that, hey, you got to come in and get a mental checkup and, pre and prepare to turn your guns in if we find that you have a mental problem. And uh, in a lot of the wellness checks, they're not even telling them that. You just show up and they say, are you ever down? Yeah, my son was in a car wreck. Oh, you're down. Your guns are gone. Yeah, I got a divorce. You know, my wife left me. I've been pretty down. Uh, your guns are gone. You have to know when you go to any pediatrician, any doctor, a lot of them aren't globalists, aren't authoritarians, uh, so they're not spying on you. I mean, a regular doctor knows if you come in and say, I want to kill myself, you know, to uh, call the police. Uh, you don't need to have Homeland Security and the VA there putting their operatives in everywhere to get your guns. So serious veterans alert with a victim of this. Uh, David Schmecker coming up in the second hour for 30 minutes. And then I, I've got something that's a little bit fun, but it's also painful. And I don't normally cover goofy things unless it uh, educates people. And I heard last week, hey, Alex, cover the Reptoid Secret Service agent. And I didn't even go look it up. I'm like, no, I have serious things to do. I was just talking to a senior Secret Service person the other day. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Anyway, side issue. Um, and so people kept sending me the video, so I happened to watch it yesterday afternoon. We're going to be playing it coming up. And... I went, I've seen that guy before. The one they're saying is a reptoid. He says extremely male uh, features. I go, I've seen that guy before. That's a Secret Service agent that's spoken out. And ladies and gentlemen, I snapped my fingers for about 20 minutes doing a search on YouTube. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I found him and we've got his name. And he is a guy that quit and spoke out for the Second Amendment. And it's probably a psyop against him or something. The point is, is that then Glenn Beck gets in on the game, and I'm trying to not attack Glenn Beck, okay, even though he's done dirty tricks to me behind the scenes and stuff. Obviously sees me as competition. Man, I wish there were 50 Glenn Becks that were actually fighting the New World Order. I mean, I, I get other talk show hosts on, like Michael Savage and George Norrie, to promote them because they'll talk about real issues. Uh, I don't sit here attacking Rush Limbaugh. Uh, I don't sit here attacking uh, Bill O'Reilly and people. It's just not what I do. But every time, there's my mouse, every time I watch something he's doing, I mean, I could see the scripting there. You know, Alex Jones, you piece of garbage. I don't know what your deal is. I really don't know, and I don't care. You don't know what my deal is, you jackass? When you have been trying to hold me down for at least six years? I mean, I've talked to your confidants, famous people. Every time you get around some famous person, you start running me down and saying people shouldn't come on my show. And you blocked me from going on Fox as a guest one time when I was there for that. You jerk. But that's not the issue. He goes, oh, they believe in reptoids and the Bilderberg Group and the Illuminati and the New World Order. I mean, he's basically the ADL. That's why they've given him so much attention as the opposition.